Hmm. Take a minute to come up on the iPad here. Change the settings on this. I'm not using all the bandwidth. Yeah. Yeah. Hey, we got a viewer. What's up, Skip? So this may not work very well. I'm not sure. There isn't a lot of bandwidth here, but we're gonna try. We shall see. <laughs> Where'd you guys go earlier in here? Oh. Are you sure? Did you go to both luxury lofts? All right, well, let's go in here since I'm pretty sure we'll have cell signal in there. Nowhere and everywhere. What, hiding behind the camera? Yeah, this may drop out. I have no idea what kind of signal we're going to have. The what? Oh, yeah. Let's go see what they're doing at the build center over there. They're supposedly building a Jeep Gladiator and some sort of BMW. I don't know if they're just taking the parts on and off of it all weekend or what. Because they are already working on it yesterday. How's the video, Skip? Is it working? going between full signal and no signal, so I guess we'll see. <laughs> There's the Make-A-Wish car. Yep. Rusty's bumper ointment. Wraps is here too. They're doing wrapping and then they're supposedly putting tires and stuff on these things. And then I'm not sure what they're doing to the BMW over there. Oh, he's taking the wrap back off. Oh, no, just straightening it. Oh, you're fine. No, you're good. See what's going on in BMW land. It looks like they're tenting the windows on it. Hey, what's up, Star Trooper? Yeah, I did a little test earlier and it seemed to be working, so. If it freezes, you might have to refresh or maybe it'll reconnect. I'm not sure. It looks like they're doing exhaust and tires and maybe some other stuff. I'm not sure. Ooh, look at those brakes. Mm, brake discs. John's here too. <laughs> oh. And they have this golf cart with three steering wheels. Hey, what's up, Ray? Yep, built the car show. Be here all weekend. Yeah, they got a PlayStation set up inside this thing. And there's like multiple steering wheels, which is kind of funny. And a little itty bitty screen up there. There's a screen up there you can race. 
It'd be better if everyone was fighting to steer at the same time. Right. No. <laughs> it's my turn. No, it's not. Speakers and stuff. Yeah. RGB lighting. <laughs> All the things. We got that video studio. Right there. <laughs> Skip says hi, John. Hi, Skip. John says hi. This microphone's fairly directional, but it should pick up some ambient noise, I think. Right? Go UK style over here. This is the stereo department over here. Oh, and then there's one of these things. Don't worry, it's not real. Although it is a kit that's still worth a bunch of money. They got two of them here. And a heap. The J is pronounced like Spanish, like ha. So instead of Jeep, it's heap. Sick flex, bro. Audio quality is good, excellent. Oh, it also is going to be good audio quality every time I sniffle and clear my throat and everything, so I apologize in advance for that. Oh, and this is the Mazda Beer Garden. <clears throat> yeah, bar. Right behind Mazda. Yeah, this has the throwback, like, Cherokee-style, like, old Goldies. I don't know what I think about that. If it was a Jeep, it might be okay, but it's a Mazda. Oh, no, it's a Mitsubishi. And they've got little lights on it. Sorted thingies. Oh, and there's squatters living on the roof. Wait, look at the front of this thing. There seems to be a lot of like plastic or something. It's kind of a cross between like the front of the Ford Explorer but smaller and with a little bit of Range Rover. Yeah, itty bitty light bar. It's right there. This big. Yeah, probably. Actually, all those are probably still dimmer than our than our chair lights. Actually, you've got the four LEDs. Yeah, this one. I have an LED light off here. Let's see. I'm in the bounder. Yeah, it's daylight in here. <laughs> Onward. It's a wannabe Aztec. And Econo box, huh? A what? Grammar error? Let's see. Oh, the grammar's on this on the yeah. schedule. Yeah. The white one, or? They have it. Twelve a.m. Oh, twelve a.m. Yeah. <laughs> nice. We'll be doing a drawing at twelve a.m. Well, that's how they make sure nobody wins. <laughs> Any ramp vans there? Yes, we're actually sharing a booth with the Ability Center. We're 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 gonna have four vans, but we only have three now. Uh, it's Ability Center. We got a Toyota, a Honda, and what's that big one? A Chrysler, and the Chrysler that has enormous amounts of space in it. What? Oh, the drawings on Friday. Oh. 11 a.m., 12 a.m., yeah, 11.59 a.m. Ooh, this Infinity has factory underglow. I think it was Hyundai that has the closest thing to booth babes this year. I think they kind of frown on that in the year 2020. Booth babes. <laughs> now we're running probably a 30 to 45 second delay right now just because there's a low signal it gives the servers a little bit of time to buffer if the signal does drop out <laughs> oh chat's not showing up on the screen standby uh, I gotta put chat on the screen here hang on Tap, tap. It says it's on there. 
Oh, do I have to hit plus? Oh, it wasn't actually on there. Plus. Hmm. Okay, I think it's on there now. Somebody in chat say something. It'll take 30 seconds for it to show up, but in theory it should be on there. Maybe. Well, I guess I can say something. Yo. I'm using the iPad to monitor the stream. But will it show up on this? That's the question. It's supposed to. Wait for it. Well, that way people that are watching on their TV can see it. I don't think it's showing up. Oh, there it is. Very, very tiny print at the bottom. Okay. Wow, that's small print. Well, better than nothing. <clears throat> Onward. It's gone. Hi. Something. <laughs> yeah, the white carpet. Yeah. I don't think we're leaving any tracks on the floor. Am I not? Are we good? Now we're good. We're not ruining the carpet too much. Come back on Sunday. You're gonna have mud on your tires? Make a point. Go straight to the show floor. There's two luxury lobs this year. I'm using a gimbal, but I'm occasionally resting it on my knee, so it might be bouncy at times. Oh, they have NV vans or whatever. Are they here? Oh. Oh yeah, the little miniature ones? Yeah. That's expensive for a small van though. Looks like we still got signal. Dang. Are they still making the sprinters? Oh yeah. I think this Mercedes has that Metris now. Take you on. Yeah, it says we're at 30 frames a second, full signal, so cool. Note 9 for the win. My iPhone and iPad barely works in here, but the Note's got four Wi Fi or four LTE radios in it, so it's getting the job done. Let's go back over to the road. Oh, wait, let's see what the color names are. Some of them are usually pretty good. Tornado Red, Deep Black Pearl, Tunskin Silver. Yeah, these ones are all normal. A lot of companies have super weird names. Stone Blue Metallic. Now yeah, they're glued on. Thought maybe you could rearrange them. Stone Blue Metallic, that's a weird red. What's that? Really? Oh yeah, it's like there's um, like uh, packing bubbles underneath it. I think that was like automotive innovation is sort of like the smartphone industry. It has peaked. There's nothing too amazing anymore. Oh, they do have that Ford simulator over there. Did you see that thing? Yeah, it's over here in the corner. You sit in it, and the whole thing spins around. But I do wonder about fender spacing, though, because those tires would get stuffed in those fenders if you flexed at all. I mean, it looks cool, though. And it's got a topographical map on it, so you know it's good. Hey, what's up, Austin? Oh, that's a step right there. Valid on the purchase release of his new unused MY 2015 2020 blah 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 something something fine friend. <laughs> yeah, my nose. <laughs> what is this? Yeah, they had a bunch of people out here with microphones like talking about engine specs yesterday. <clears throat> They're not here today, I guess. 
Mm, plasticky. Some guy in Denmark says they pay 180% in taxes on buying things. That seems like a medium amount of taxation. What color is that? It's sort of a yellow green. It doesn't really show up on the camera. That's like glam. I don't know if our connection is going to keep going or not. Oh, popping. Question. They're still making the ridge line, and it's as ugly as it ever was. Yes. I don't know if it's the iPad that's having troubles, or it's the stream, or maybe it's both. You have to use more than one finger to open it now. Freezing. We can go to another. And tell me if it's turning red on that laptop out there. I know for sure. I don't know. I think it might be, but it's still going on my laptop or my iPad. Oh, yeah, we can look at the driving simulator. What? So, my play, hopefully, there's. More cell signal out there. The other simulators are pending. Oh, the clock. <laughs> See if anyone's driving. Yeah. Oh, look, looks like they just loaded someone up. Yeah, I think it might be lagging. There's people dropping out. <laughs> yeah. Kind of cool. There's that thing. Oh, let's go into the hallway. Let's see if there's better signal. So these guys over here in the mobile tire van, I didn't make them mad, but like, it was kind of funny. <laughs> um, they were like, oh yeah, we drive around and install tires and this and that, blah, blah, blah. And I was like, the real question is, what tires are you running on your mobile install van? And I went over and looked at him, and the guy was like, I could tell he was embarrassed. He's like, oh, there's a stock. This van's only got 45 miles on it, blah, blah, blah. And I'm like, yeah, but you're the tire guys. He's like, yeah, but those tires don't, don't make us money. Like, you paying us makes us money or something like that. It was really funny. <laughs> I'm like, well, actually, driving on those tires makes you money as well. <laughs> Let's go. Uh, they're trying to get baseball in Portland again. We'll see if it works this time. Probably not. Oh, is that supposed to be you, you're on a baseball card when you're in there and take a picture? It's not like it, it should be on the profile. <laughs> yes. Hey, we got good signal again. Oh, it's the Mountain Man Fruit and Nut Company. Those are those guys that run around in office buildings with their little push carts. 
You've seen him before, right? The mountain man. It's kind of funny. People are getting out of the way more because I'm holding a camera and not because I'm in a wheelchair. <laughs> or maybe it's both. He's not looking up. Oh yeah, they have a DeLorean or a Back to the Future car here too. It's actually right over by our booth. <laughs> Although I'm relatively confident if we go through the tunnel, it'll disconnect. I guess we could loop around outside and back in up there. Oh no, we know where it's at. Yeah, thanks man. <laughs> Everyone's so helpful. Get some RVs over here. Ooh. Maybe if we just go fast enough through the tunnel, it won't lag too much. Yep. RV show back again. Actually, I guess we could go up to the luxury loft. They have a bunch of vintage Porsches up there. We'll probably disconnect in the elevator, but yeah, let's let's go back over here. Yeah, it should reconnect. Okay, if you can still see or hear me, we're gonna go upstairs to the one of the luxury lofts. They got a bunch of vintage Porsches and stuff up there. We're gonna go in the elevator. It's probably gonna disconnect, um, but. If you're using a computer, you should be able to stay on the watch page or a mobile device. If you're on a TV, you'll probably have to exit out and go back into the stream. <clears throat> but, uh, yeah. There's a lot of strollers. Yeah, we'll, we'll wait for the next one. Not going up? Yep. Okay. There we go. Oh, I guess I have to push a button. There we go. All right. Oh, look, we're in an elevator. I have two more. All right, exit. Hurry, hurry, hurry. Oh, I got the door open, button. What the hell? like, no. Did you get stuck? Yes. <laughs> you go forward a little bit. Keep your toes on the door while I spin around if you can. Okay, let me spin around here. <clears throat> okay, we're good. Yeah, you're clear. Uh oh, it's getting cranky. No! Listen here, thing. Urgh. You will let me out of this elevator. Urgh. I'm pushing open with both my arms and trying to drive. Okay, sheesh. That thing got cranky in a hurry. Oh, now it opens back up. <laughs> Ow, now my arms hurt. <laughs> okay, we're reconnected now. We got good signal. <laughs> Let me reload this and make sure we're still good. Okay, I blame the elevator, not you. It cast a spell over you. Mmm, R8. What? Oh, they're downstairs by our table. 
Yeah, the popcorn carpet. So these cars are like quietly. Why is Trevor is trying to FaceTime me? Hey, what's up? Dude, I'm in desperate need of some help. Uh, I, I went on an airline line, okay? I came back from the airline, and now my footrest, I know that there, there's some type of special footrest that they're supposed to, like, give away to the floor and then let me get up on my F3. Yeah. Well, something's happening, and now they hit the floor, and I can't, I don't know how to tighten these things back up. I know there's a strap on the back side and stuff, but I don't know how to, they just keep going right to the floor. I don't know, I've tightened all the... Oh, they're sliding down the shafts? Yeah, down the shaft. Um, if you pop the, yeah, pop the, oh, you got the emblem off. So there's four screws there. Um, there's... I all four of those. And, and there's... Going up and down. Really? Yeah, hey, show me, show me this, show me this, show me this, slide this up down, okay? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. See, it's back, it's this bar. Oh. Have you tried tilting them down? It should tighten up a little bit if you tilt them down. What's up, dude? Yeah, it, it, it does, but it's not, it's so, it's got so much play that's all the way down to the floor. So there's a fabric strap that connects underneath there, and right underneath the middle of the seat, there's supposed to be like a spring roller. Mm-hmm. Um, whoops. I don't, I don't think that it's on the roller. Pull up, pull up. Hey, stop. Hey, there should be a video for this, because I look everywhere for this. Well, I'm actually live streaming at the moment, and like, <laughs> it's sort of on there. <laughs> um, yeah, so there should be like a, a, a metal and golden roller thing with a fabric strap. Yep. And the strap should connect directly under where those two holes are in the middle. Okay. <laughs> Do you see the strap at all? Yeah, I, I see the strap, yeah. So, it connects to a bar, like mid-span, just his hand, if his hands go a little bit lower. Yeah. There should be a, a couple of screws right there you can tighten it up with. Yeah, there is. You can't see them, bro. No, I know there is. I know, because when we went somewhere, I had that, I had that tightened up. Okay, so, should I tighten that think? strap all the way to where it holds them up where I put it? Yeah, so what you can do is just, just loosen it and then um, slide it down or slide the footrest up and then tighten that back down. And then, and then all my weight and my feet are going to be on this strap? They always are anyways. Oh, okay. But yeah, that's how that thing works. Yeah, if you something got loose in there, but if you just loosen it up and then slide it down, you should be able to hold it. Or it should hold it. Okay. <laughs> my, my oldest is there. <laughs> Cool, let me know what happens. Yep, I'll let you know. Okay, bye. <laughs> okay. Um, mobile repair. <laughs> oh, Franklin's watching. He just texted and said R8. Uh oh, my gimbal's not happy. Please hold while I reset the gimbal. I think it's just out of balance. I have to point it down a little bit more. There we go. Okay. Somebody say something. I can't tell if this is still working or not. <laughs> oh, I guess it is because Franklin said R8. <laughs> yeah, so I was going to say, these things are quietly like a really powerful car. Um, I mean, they look flashy and stuff, but it's uh, like full manual everything. Yeah. Yeah, they're nuts. I mean, they're a little bit flashy, but like they don't scream like, you know, a Lamborghini does or something. <laughs> Look at me. And you can daily it. I mean, it's got ground clearance and everything. Great repair. Oh, you guys saw it? Cool. <laughs> oh, yeah, let's go out and look at the Porsches. <laughs> That's like the third FaceTime I've ever done. <laughs> I'm surprised it worked with like one bar. <laughs> yeah, they got some super old ones down here. Right? Get some actual FaceTime, FaceTime. <laughs> right? <laughs>
Yeah, I don't know what came loose on his chair. I, I mean, maybe they were just standing on the foot plates and it slipped yeah. on the strap or something. I've always felt that you can feel a little tension on the strap. Oh, he says, you saved a day. Thanks for interrupting. Oh, no, dude, you're fine. No, dude, El I'm What we do this crypt's got to stick together <laughs> all right let's go down here and look at the spaceships i don't know internet like homer simpson would say the kids are snowed in at school how are they gonna get home i don't know internet yeah there we go Freight elevator in the back, actually. 1600 Super. Check out the LFA. Yeah, we did pass that LFA, and it's pretty sweet. <laughs> yes. Oh, yeah. You see, you're so much smarter than I am. <laughs> whale tail so one, one of my friends was dating this girl and her mom had a Porsche and she I don't know how many times a day she used the word whale tail she's like mama point down and then I think I have to slide this up oh no <laughs> too bad you guys couldn't see that that was funny I wasn't holding onto the gimbal and it started flailing around wildly I'll just keep the camera pointed down all right Oh, I think that was in the other luxury loft, actually. Not this one. Huh. Hang on, I gotta find something to set this down on so I can adjust it. All right, there's sofas over here. Actually, let's go back up front. Yeah. Low signal in here. Occupancy factor is seven feet square feet per person. <laughs> Mood lighting. I'm gonna go out here and find a table. I'm gonna adjust this camera. Hey, what's up, Ray? Yeah, video is super choppy because, like, we're in a building with, like, a few thousand people and there's not very much signal. <laughs> That's why I'm doing it on the other channel. <laughs> well, I gotta find a table to set this thing on real quick and make some adjustments. Table or a car with a very flat hood. Huh. There we go, there's a flat surface. Right, I gotta adjust this thing real quick. <clears throat> okay, I gotta turn off the gimbal real quick. Oh, we got a nice strong signal here. Okay, so it's tilting that way, so. I think if I lower the phone, hmm. it'll help. Maybe. Okay, let's try that. I got counterweights on one side of it, but that doesn't that doesn't account for the the yaw or the roll. Hmm. Okay, let's try that. Onward. <clears throat> oh, they've got the um, the guess what car is crushed up here. I know it's a Chevy Malibu, but I don't know what year it is. Yeah, so every year they have a car here that's all crushed into a cube, and then you like um, guess what car it is, and what year it is, and approximately how many miles are on it, and the person closest to that wins like a TV or something. <laughs> it's definitely a Chevy Malibu, though. I know that, and I'll show you why. Oh, 
Come on, Gimbal, work with me. Oh. It really wants to look at the ceiling. Okay, I'll suggest this the other direction. Oop, hang on a second. More shaky cam. Maybe I have to take the case off the phone. Oh, I know what I did before. I have to loop the microphone up the other direction. Well, we'll just roll with it for now. Let me turn this back on. Come on, gimbal. Okay. All right, let me show you the part that's Malibu. Don't drink it, you know. <laughs> no, last year's car was red. So this is the giveaway from Malibu right here. Malibu? Oh. It does, yeah. Someone had mentioned that. <laughs> Just saying. I don't know what year are Miles. Chevy? Yeah, see? You can see it now, right? <laughs> I think we could have three brains. We can put it together. The trick is how many miles are on it, though. That's the tricky one. <laughs> <laughs> I just ruined the party. <laughs> so, there was one guy earlier. I was sitting down here by the elevator, and he walked by, and he's like, he's like, there's a part number on it. I looked it up. It's a 2008. I was assuming 2001-ish, because I rented one of those things one time and drove from Portland to... Uh, um, Post Falls or Coeur d'Alene and uh, I couldn't go above 87 miles an hour because it would overheat <laughs> so that was the limiting factor but yeah that door panel in the back is a dead giveaway if they'd kicked that in a little more it would have been harder I know right they don't cube cars anymore they shred them <laughs> oh yeah there's the outdoors Oh wait, I think this does connect to street level on the other side of the building. Maybe, maybe they go through around back the building, like through the. Uh, yeah, I'll bet there's. I bet they can drive from out there because if you go straight, we're at the street level way down there. So there's probably a corridor around back. Yeah, that'd be a lot of work on that freight elevator, <laughs> and a lot of potential to scratch the uh, priceless spaceships. <laughs> Yeah, I figured a choppy stream was better than nothing. <laughs> Fifteen bucks? I was guessing like ten to twelve or something. No, I think it's eight bucks to get in, but we got vendor badges. I don't know. Vicky's got a stack of them. <laughs> I think Enix already got his. That's how you say his name, right, Eunuch? Yeah. I keep trying to say Eunuch. <laughs> it's not the right name. <laughs> Back in Old Testament days. <laughs> so I'll just keep my name. Yeah, I would. <laughs> yeah, Chuck can keep his, too. Actually, the same ones they used last year, too. Slash, no one even gets close enough to look at him. Right. Okay, so we might disconnect again here. Ooh, Media Center. We'll have to see what that is. Oh, wait, if I whip out my press credentials, maybe they'll let us in there. Okay, this will probably disconnect, but we'll see. I'm going to back in, and then you should be able to um, slide in right behind me. The doors close aggressively on this one, too. Hopefully nobody's in it. Okay, so... I'll keep my toes here. All right, there we go. Yeah, it smells, it smells like hydraulic oil in here. You're good. No. I'm going to turn around. You'll have to back up. I got the door, though. Oh, yeah, you got it. Ramming speed. All right, there we go. We're good. I can't believe it didn't disconnect in there. 
Oh, wait. We did want that other floor. Eh. Well. Yeah, back in the hole. <laughs> yeah, it's confusing here. It's like 1L, 2S. Well, no, I wanted to go to the main floor and check that out. Hmm. Yeah, actually, we don't need to go to the main floor. There's nothing up there. Let's get back to our booth. Yeah. All right, I'm going to go fast in this hallway so we don't disconnect. Oh, it'll probably make it worse. Oh, yeah, I'll give us a minute to reconnect. Okay, I think we're good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Leaving have the hoverboard. Yeah, this convention center is a little bit tricky. It usually takes three elevators to get anywhere. <laughs> Mr. Fusion. Yep, there's that thing. How's it going? Well, I don't want to check it out, but all these people want to check it out. <laughs> so I think we were supposed to ask for Dale Earnhardt paraphernalia from any collector, right? I think that's a topic of uh, contention. <laughs> Too soon. That was like 12 years ago, right? Or something? I don't know. A while. Or was it Junior? I don't remember. The one that got in the crash. Oh, we have a, a special appearance from the Beaverton Police hybrid. Hybrid enforcement unit. Oh yeah, the Tesla are in here. See what our signal's like. It's probably not going to be very good in here. <laughs> yeah, Ryan, John promises he's working right now. <laughs> Want to look at some wheelchair? Oh, look, Power Soccer. We should sign up for that. So we've got Brown Ability by Toyota. Was it choppy or? Her? <laughs> yeah, it should reconnect, I think. But I think the delay is really bad. Yes. No, it's like thirty to forty-five seconds. Oh, I did yeah, that. I did that were, intentionally. You were out of the Toyota room by the time oh. I. Told you, Look at the LFA. <laughs> yeah, um, I did that intentionally because it helps with low signal. Oh, that's the buffering cool. a little bit. Yeah. You go really fast. Oh, no, no, no. Is it back? <laughs> right when I said it. <laughs> So this is the big one that my bounder fits in. And I actually have headspace. Let me flip the camera around. Oh, that's right, my brakes aren't very good. There we go, this is me and the bounder sitting up upright. Okay, my head bumps when I just get in, but we've got a little bit of room in here. And look, I can turn around in the bounder. Ish. Oh. <laughs> okay. Well, it is large in here, I promise. Hang on, let me flip this camera around. I'll show you the floor. <clears throat> yep, no. Go away, keyboard. No. Nope. Ah. There we go. See? Floor. Look at all that space. Right, I'm getting out of here. It's hot. Say hello, Internet. Hello, Internet. Internet says hi, I'm sure. <laughs> oh, Franklin's getting in this one. No room for two? Yeah. Just a little bit more. Maybe a half inch more than this. Yeah. Not very much. We gotta try the Pacifica. Yeah, he was in there earlier. He could barely see over the door jam. Oh, really? It's so tall, yeah. <laughs> so you look like a normal person sitting in that one. He likes it. 
He likes the Pacific Ocean. Right? He's got more room. This is the same as yours, right? Oh, yeah. No, oh. This is the great But not the uh, huge one. With the extra seven inches of clearance or whatever. Do you have a I don't know. All I know is I can sit in there in this thing and I don't have to duck. Quack. Quack. No. Oh yeah. Let's let's ask the let's ask the professionals. the professionals. What's the floor drop on the Pacifica? 16? Wow. 17? And the Toyota? 16. 14? A 14 in the Toyota and 16 in this. That's insane for a minivan. It is. Mr. Big Man Guy? Yeah. Oh, he's going for it again. Yeah. Seat elevator, so you could oh yeah, you're too low. <laughs> yeah. Let me come over here so we can see how he can barely see over the door. <laughs> yeah, see, you can barely see out. Are you all the way forward? <laughs> Are you all the way forward? Can you go any far forward? There's no water. Oh, your water's on the way? <gasps> yeah, don't mar the finish. Yeah, keep it PC. This is family friendly internet. <laughs> yeah. Oh, yeah, because it's all. Oh, yeah, because it's not. The dashboard isn't as. Whoa. Yes. <laughs> Wait, reach the sunroof. Oh, you got it. Nice. His hand's sticking out of the sunroof. Nice. <laughs> <laughs> right. <laughs> I guess we can look at the other luxury loft up here. <laughs> oh yeah, so that's the thing with the Pacifica. The door sticks out so far in the back. So you gotta be real careful with curb parking. Oh yeah, it would hit a curb, wouldn't it? Yeah, stick your shoe there. Yeah, see, so you got to park like in the road to keep from hitting your door on the uh, on the sidewalk. That's because of the shape of it. Man. Well, they tilted it way out so it could open yeah, further. But there it is. <laughs> I mean, this is a fantastic vehicle. You should buy it. <laughs> You want to check out the other uh, luxury loft real quick? Okay. I know, this is only day two. I'm like halfway into it. <laughs> oh, by the way, Brian, if you're still watching, I'll probably just come here tomorrow. Not that I don't hate soccer or anything, but, you know. <laughs> yeah. Just don't eat the blue ones, they turn your mouth blue. Yeah. Or maybe. Well, I didn't think you knew about it, so I wanted to tell you. <laughs> Yeah, it'll be quick. We'll go up there for 20 minutes or so and then call it a stream. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. 
So this elevator is partially underground, so we might disconnect again. We shall see. All right, we'll be back in 20 seconds if it disconnects, or 90 seconds or something. Actually, I'll go part way and hit the button, and then you can follow me. <laughs> Gotta figure this stuff out. Assuming it's not filled with baby strollers. Which it might be. Ding. <laughs> so WC19 just for the Sherlock. No, so um, Easy Lock is completely independent of WC19. Actually, it might be lagging here. I'll explain that when I get upstairs. Please hold. Oh. Oh. I know, right? Oh, wait, wait, wait. No, I lied. It is two. Go for it just a little bit and I'll hit the button. Okay, that's good. Hang on. Okay, back up. <laughs> Teamwork. <laughs> and the attachment chair is not because the seating connection to the power base is questionable. Um, so Easy Lock is its own separate thing. Sort of. Huh. Let me know if that came through. I don't know if we were disconnecting or not. Well, that was weird. I looked down at my iPad and you were in front of me. <laughs> oh. That was yellow. It burns the retinas. Oh, oh. oh. oh yeah, shipper cards. You got to look at the back tires on this one, John. That's how you know it's fun. <laughs> See those tires? <laughs> Can you repeat? Um, yeah, so um, WC19 has to do with the chair itself and the, um, well, the power base has to have tie downs that won't rip off or whatever. But the other important component is the connection of the seating to the power base. So, Easy Lock is completely independent of all that. Like, all of Quantum's power bases on their own are technically WC19 compliant, but the attachment to the seating from the power base, uh, you have to get the option for that. And um, that's the problem that I'm having with mine. So, you want to make sure that the base and the seating and everything is compliant. And I don't think they're allowed to say the chair is compliant unless it has the appropriate connection to the seating as well because the easy lock is they, they do their own testing but wc19 is independent of easy lock if that makes any sense um the four four straps holding your chair down is technically safer than an easy lock but also just about as good roughly um yeah anyways that's my take on it <laughs> No, we didn't pass the LFA. It's in here. Franklin's smoking crack. <laughs> I mean, no, he's not. <laughs> More um, noisy packing bubble floor. This red one down here is pretty sweet. So it's got a small block 302 or a 5.0, all naturally aspirated. Yeah. The specs are here on this little thing. 
kind of nonsense are you coming up with there? <laughs> yeah, so 471 horsepower, 10 speed direct shift automatic, assorted things, premium paint. As it sits, 102,000. But look how wide and flat that is. And how long the bonnet is. Yeah, that thing is sweet. And Ryan refused to let us look at the uh, Mercedes when we were here. <laughs> eh, I don't know what I think about this. It's like someone sat on it. I mean, there are intercoolers, so that, you know, gives it some extra points, but, yeah, I don't know, something. <laughs> yeah, seen one, you see them all. Oh, look at the wheels on that thing, though. I believe those deduct from the intercoolers, in my opinion. I don't know what those wheels are, but that's... And the brake calipers are mustard yellow. What is that? I mean, it is a twin turbo V8, but like... Uh... Let's look at the back. I'll give it a pass, I think. I'd rather take the Lexus. Well, that one's super chopped. Hmm. That one somehow looks better, even though it's about the same. 17 miles of the gallon, are you joking? There's no way. Well, I didn't even have the MPG listed on there. <laughs> That's funny. Derailing chains. <laughs> Sorry about the nose noises. Yeah, so see, we're at ground level now and we're on the same uh, height as that other luxury loft. So I'm assuming there's corridors that go around back. Yeah. Hey, random question. Oh, no. Um, when they get the cars over there, is there a corridor that they drive them around back from this side? Or how do they get the cars up to the second floor down there? Oh, okay. <laughs> I wasn't sure if you knew. I only know directions in that bathroom. Okay, cool. <laughs> Oh, really? They don't have gas. Well, that makes sense. Well, I just wasn't sure if they used a freight elevator or what. Because that other floor is way off the ground, yeah. They do have a dock there. Oh, yeah. Huh. Yeah. All right, cool. Did you go to the Oregon one? This is the Yeah, yeah, we were on the other side earlier. Yeah, we came from over there a few minutes ago. Oh, All right, thanks. We're going right past the show office on the way out. We'll ask them. Probably true. And actually, now that I think about it, it's an office like with doors that close. So I think going in there with the camera might be weird. <laughs> oh yeah, there's the there's the canine vehicle that tried to run me over earlier. <laughs> Yeah, I was coming down here, and they were, like, kind of coming up behind me as I was going down. I was like, it's like a car behind me on the sidewalk. 
<laughs> no idea what you're talking about. It's also extremely backlit with those windows. Actually, you can't even see it on the camera. It's just like a black hole that people are sitting in. <laughs> All murdered out. Oh, it's green. I thought it was black. Stealthio. Stealthio. <laughs> I thought it was black. It's actually green. Weird. Alright. Wax. Yeah. Wait. Yeah. We went in those exact doors right there. Da, 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 da. Auto show. Yep. Well, I think we've run out of auto show, so we're going to call that good for now. I just wanted to do something at least. I wasn't sure if the uh, connection would work or whatnot, but batteries are getting low and stuff, so. Um, the replay will be posted in probably 90 minutes. It's going to take a bit of back-end processing because it glitched so many times. Uh, usually YouTube can patch that up or their servers will, so you'll probably get a notification on this channel when it does go live eventually, but yeah, I think uh, we'll call that good. Say bye, John. Bye, <laughs> All right, I'll still a later or something. Oh, no, I don't want to type on the keyboard. How do I hit the... Oh, there we go. All right. See you later.